Welcome to a look behind the scenes at the creation of Old School RuneScape's newest boss, the Nightmare of Ashihem. With this boss, we try to make like a challenging boss, one of the more challenging ones we've done. But because it is a group boss, it is inherently going to be a little bit more accessible to uh, lower levels as well, because you can team up with higher level people and they can uh, help you out a bit. So lower level people will be able to come in here and maybe have a chance. But of course, as always with any combat activity, the higher level you are, the better. The only prerequisite on the Nightmare is the Priest and Pearl. Yes, the Nightmare herself is, uh, she's in sleep, the uh, town on the uh, far side of Mauritania, but you don't need to do any quests apart from actually having access to Mauritania, so yeah, just Priest and Peril. Currently got multiple phases and different attack styles. She attacks with all three. Yeah, she'll use uh, like core attacks, uh, melee, ranged and magic, but she also has nice selection of special attacks and multiple phases as well, so she'll change the special attacks she's using each phase. There's also the Sleepwalker that um, Mod G made. It's really cool how they basically, they're currently surrounding the outside of the arena, and then they'll come in and just slowly start walking towards this boss. We kind of originally decided that we wanted to make the drop table very similar to the God Wars dungeon drop table, where you kind of have that rare loot, which is the uniques, but then you have an okay drop table overall. Ideally, probably what you want in a drop table is uh, a nice set of uniques that have good value for you to aim for, and then your regular drops that you're getting uh, more consistently to not be overly valuable. But of course, in old school, we always have that fear of uh, power creep and stuff like that, so actually, Finding those uniques is quite hard, so you'll see with some bosses in the past that we've gone sort of the other way and we've held back on the uniques because we don't want to go into that sort of power creep stage. But on the flip side, to make up for it, we've had to have lots of alcables and stuff on there that makes the regular drops uh, quite valuable. I remember sitting down through the rewards of all the player suggestions, and it was at least, what, 200 or so on the list? There were, there were so many suggestions, and one thing that was nice to see is that there's a lot of uh, similarities between them. Yeah. Like, I think probably the main thing we got from suggestions, it was very much this demand for uh, the staff, like you say, and uh, a crush weapon as well. So we actually ended up combining lots of different player suggestions, including our own ideas as well, and then obviously make some tweaks to make sure it fit both for thematics and gameplay to come up with the final rewards. As a QA analyst for the project, my job is to basically make sure that everything works together correctly and it isn't completely broken. Players will be able to get to the boss by going to sleep and going down into the dungeon called the Sisterhood Sanctuary. I recommend anyone around level 80 stats or above to take on the boss. In terms of gear, I'd expect them to have God Wars Dungeon stat-wise gear. The Nightmare has three phases, and after each phase, you'll have to deal damage to every single pillar and charge those pillars up to be able to then do damage to the Nightmare itself. The Nightmare of Ashiyama offers a variety of rewards, all with different sort of focuses. So one of the main rewards will be the Nightmare Staff with the three orbs. The three orbs are all focused around different things, so we've got the Harmonized Orb, which focuses on doing big DPS with the regular spellbook. And then we've also got the Volatile Orb. This is more like an AGS, but as a special magic weapon, which we haven't really seen before in the game. And then we've also got the Eldritch Orb, which recuperates some of your prayer points whenever you use a special attack, and also deals a good amount of damage. The Inquisitor set has slightly better stats than Bandos, but what it lacks for in defense, it does provide for any crush attack bonus. My job in this project was to produce the character model for the Nightmare of Ashihama. You'll notice at the start of the Nightmare fight uh, that the Nightmare itself will be laying on the ground. I wanted to treat this character as kind of like a host for an evil that possesses it, so you'll see it kind of lift, lift up right at the start of the fight like a bit of a lifeless puppet, and then it will kind of uh, start to notice the character and then drop to the ground and become ready to attack. And at the end of the fight, you'll also see this life force leave the character by how it kind of spasms and loses its motor functions and then eventually spins around chaotically and falls lifeless again on the ground. Uh, so we've got two environments that feature in this content. 
We've got the one uh, underneath the town of Sleep, which is the Sisterhood Sanctuary. Uh, that was created by Mod West. And then we've got the actual nightmare itself, which is a realm manifest inside the nightmare subconscious. And that was created by Mod Rai. I was asked to create a Naruto run for this boss. Um, which was interesting because I had such a short period of time to actually get that animation in. I believe it's just one or two uh, server cycles in game, which equates to about 1.2 seconds. Uh, so we kind of see the creature's arms fly out back towards it. We've all seen the Naruto run before, and we see the legs kind of blurring and spinning around underneath it. So it's a, it's a very sort of uh, rushed animation. So blinking, you'll miss it, but it looks lovely in the editor when you slow it down. With this being my last project for Old School RuneScape, I really wanted this boss to kind of stand out. So everything that I've learned over the years creating bosses, I really just kind of poured back into this. So it's really been a, uh, an enjoyable undertaking for me because I feel that the animations and the, the appearance of the boss and also uh, the general uh, feel of the update is really top quality. And I think um, over the years, we've just raised the bar more and more with Old School RuneScape. And this is definitely, you know, uh, raising the bar again. Nightmare of Ashihama is now live. Gather your friends or see if you have what it takes to kill the nightmare alone.